they are back. You know that. Yes. Oh. My crowd. Thank you. My yeah. gang. Yeah. My kind of people. You realize that was all in jest, of oh, course. Oh, I hope so, yes. I would never replace you with another female. Or not, not another female. <laughs> I was going to say, with a female or another person. Yeah. You know that. Yes. That was just a little little humor. I have better luck with you than females. <laughs> I, We've I, lasted a I, long time. I hope you, <laughs> hope you never leave me. <laughs> you probably want the chair, the couch. <laughs> this half of the desk. <laughs> you all know my first guest. Uh, David Letterman is a very uh, clever gentleman. Bright, intelligent, and as you know, he's got his own show on NBC called Late Night, and we're kind of happy because David, in a way, got his uh, start for that show right here on The Tonight Show. Would you welcome David Letterman? Nice to see you. I, I, I want to say, now, I don't know whether you heard the introduction or not, and I don't want you to assume that we are taking credit for your success. I said something like you kind of started here. You didn't start here, actually, on The Tonight Show. So. Uh, yeah, but it's unlikely I would have been uh, working if I hadn't been on this show. Really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know You that. know, if I was sacking at Safeway, they ain't going to give me a show. <laughs> uh, uh, NBC might. <laughs> well, called Sacking at Safeway, and it's a great title. No, it, was, it wasn't the first show, but I, I, uh, I consider it to be certainly the most important that I've done. I first saw you on the Mary Tyler Moore show. That's right. The, it was on uh, three weeks. That show was on. Was that all? Yeah, this was a, a variety show. I remember it you was the not, announcer. It was not the, uh, yeah, I played the announcer, the likable young newcomer, the <laughs> announcer. <laughs> and the show lasted about three weeks. And uh, But, you know, there were incredible people on it. Uh, Mary herself. Right. Um, um, Michael Keaton, who has been unbelievably successful. Dick Sean was on that. Susie Kurtz was on that. Yeah. And uh, also Judy Kahn. And I hope I'm not leaving somebody out. But so they were, yeah, it was terrific. Bunch show. of talented people. Yeah, but it just went, you know, adios, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Are you out here? Is this a vacation for you? Are you off now? You know, it, it's a vacation for me, and uh, I have a home here, and uh, and and I should be more relaxed than I am, but I'm not. Uh, and and I'll just tell you why. You can see I'm not. I'm nervous. You're a little. Uh, I'm a little on nervous. Edge, yeah. Hi, Ed. Hi. Um, <laughs> People who are nervous always do that. They sit yeah, here for about a, two yeah, minutes and then turn. I and never never realized that. Ed is there. Um, <laughs> by the way, I really appreciate you getting the audience mad before I come out. <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks>. um, <laughs> So anyway, uh, uh, I'm, I'm on vacation, and uh, we live in a beach community, you know? Right. You, you have a house at the beach, don't you? I do now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't know if that had been part of the prize one. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Um, so we, we live out there, and as you know, it's very slow kind of relaxed. In fact, if, if you're visiting from out of town and you're looking for an inexpensive way to entertain the family, take them out to any gas station on Pacific Coast Highway and uh, watch the kid try and change a 20. <laughs> um, so uh, <laughs> there's, this, there's this one place we like to go for breakfast every morning up the road, up at Trancus. I'll just I mention Trancus. Sure. Nice little place. And uh, so I got my face in a plate of eggs there the other day. And uh, off in the distance, I see, I detect movement, you know, kind of your peripheral vision, you see it. And uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is. But what I do know, whatever it is, it's not well groomed. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's coming toward me, see? So uh, it turns out to be a guy. And he's got, you know, like a suit there made of kelp or something. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it, it's it, the kind of guy that probably at one time was a, a lifeguard, you know, but got annoyed with the occasional lifting. So he kind of uh, <laughs> phased, out. phased out of that. And now he's uh, a surfer. And, and he says to me, uh, hi, I don't want to bother you. I'm with a group called the Surf Punks. And we have a brand new record. And the, the record is called Welcome to California, Now Go Home, which I thought that was good. I like that. And he said, I'd like you to hear it. And I said, fine, just send it to my office in New York. And this guy says, uh, no, we know where you live out here. We'll come over. <laughs> So now you can't imagine the warmth of uh, security that kind of fell over my, uh, <laughs> knowing that the surf punks know where I live. See, <laughs> and uh, so what do you, you know? What do you do if they show up? I know it's the '80s and you're supposed to be, uh, but I don't know, honey. The surf punks are here. Come <laughs> Guys, we have soft drinks, we have fudge, we have animal tranquilizers, whatever you want. <laughs> Go ahead and. Uh, 
So, uh, <laughs> but it's, uh, so I'm a little hyper about that. Yeah. And uh, so other than that, the beach is good. Yeah. A lot of fat people out there, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people come up to me, and, hi, Ed. Hi, hi. And uh, <laughs> you are tense, though. I'm a little, little wound yeah. up. They say to me, how do you know if you're too heavy to go to the beach? And I say, well, there's a, a good test. This was in the New York Times a couple of weeks ago. Put on your suit, your bikini, whatever you got. Get in front of a mirror. Jump as high as you can. <laughs> now, when you come back down, wait a full 60 seconds. If after one minute, parts of your body are still moving, <laughs> you should drop a couple of pounds before you go down to the beach. Good test. Go to the beach. <laughs> Good test. We will uh, we will fade away here for just a minute or so, but we're we're going to return. I'll be all right. Make your plans now. Oh. When you uh, zip across the country, are you like Newhart? Newhart, I don't know if you know Bob at all. Bob is a, uh, has a terrible phobia about flying. Yeah. He does not care to fly. Oh, I'm not putting it down. He just uh, gets you uptight You like it, don't you? You don't mind flying at all, do I you? love to fly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they say it's terribly safe. Very it, safe. Yes, it is. 99.999% of all flights that take off land safely or some, something. So you shouldn't really worry about it. But to me, you're on an airplane. What do they weigh? Tons. tons. 600,000 pounds. Uh-huh. Now, they, they, there's no point in that being in the sky. <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's, uh, and see, I like to, I monitor, <laughs> I monitor the systems on the aircraft, and I do peculiar things. And, uh, uh, in fact, coming back once from a vacation, I thought there was a little, little three or four-year-old kid crawling up and down the aisle. Now, there are three doors that mean anything on an airplane. The, the lavatory, <laughs> they call them the lavatory. <laughs> um, <laughs> Then, of course, there's the, uh, the cockpit. Right. And then the other one is, you're out. You know, there's those three doors. The kid successfully opened two of the three doors. Now, I right away, a, a TV movie of the week flashed before my eyes, you know. And, uh, so I, I end up doing uh, peculiar things on airplanes, and it happened again this time. I got into a fight with a guy from, from New York. Now, New York City has a reputation, whether it's true or false, they have a reputation being a, a violent place. Uh, people starting to applaud. Sure. <laughs> Applauding violence. Yeah. And in fact, when I moved out there, my mom said to me, you're going to New York? And I said, yes. And she said, for heaven's sakes, pack something bulletproof. <laughs> so, um, so we get into this big argument and the guy says, I'm telling you, I would rather take my chances on being mugged than on going out to California and being in an earthquake. And I think this is just silliness. I said to him, if you get mugged, nothing good will come of it. There's no possible good that will come from a mugging. I said, in an earthquake, there is a possibility that something good will happen. I'll give you a good example. Uh, a year or so, a year and a half ago, Coalinga, up north, the city in California, yes. devastated by an earthquake, leveled millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of damage. Uh, a six-week period of violent aftershocks. Now, I know you're saying, Dave, what, what is the good part here? Yes. The good part is that during that period of time, local authorities reported bowling scores were never higher. <laughs> there's, there's a little good in, in good in everything, yes. even though it takes a long it time to get there sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like, a long way to go for a precious little, yes, huh? Yes, we'll Leonard Nimoy in search Ooh, of a laugh. Yeah. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> but I was committed to it. You could uh, tell. Once you're in it. Yeah, you can't uh, It's you not can't like getting around. off of the sloss and cut no, off. You've huh? got to go right through I it. can't say, oh, the phone, excuse me, and leave. That's right. No. Yeah. Had to go right through Something through about being on live. Yeah, uh, yeah. Are the people in New York excited about uh, Miss Ferraro being selected as a... Uh, Mondale's I think, yeah, sure, I think once it, uh, uh, sure, I think they must be yeah. excited. I'm, you know, I think, now I don't know if this is true or not, but if this is the same Geraldine Ferraro, I think I may have dated her. <laughs> ah. But I don't know, and this is, uh, this is, uh, months and months ago, and she was, uh, <laughs> 
she was in kind of a kind of a cowgirl thing at, at the time. And it was, uh, you talk about airports, I remember this, and again, I'm not saying it's the same one, but of it course. is. She would have me drive her out to the airport to the uh, uh, baggage carousel. Right. And it would start to go around, and she'd stand in the corner and shoot luggage. It was the strangest thing. <laughs> So, uh, but again, I don't know if it was the they same They would have probably one. known about that. Yeah, you know, yeah, they, they, they check in. Oh, no, they screen them pretty good, I think. Oh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd have known about the fire. Sure, rate they would have known about that right yeah, away. I that, think so. That gets out. Yeah, yeah, you what? can't cover that up. <laughs> now, obviously, if you say you're out here at the beach, if you worked here, you'd drive in. Now, yeah. New York, or do you actually drive? Nobody has a car in New York City, do they? No, not in New York City. You, uh, uh, there's several on the streets for the taking, but uh, you don't... <laughs> you don't... <laughs> You don't. No, I can't, you don't get on a subway. Don't, don't try to be too I've been rusty. on subways, yeah, no, but uh, I don't. I drive in every day. Originally, I was taking the train in, which is, oh, brother. Uh, there are a few things you... This is Metro North. Do you know anything about Metro North? I'm not too familiar with that. Uh, they have uh, things. They have a bar car, which is uh, like a nightly fraternity initiation in there. <laughs> and uh, elderly businessmen trying to get a panty raid going on the train. You don't want that. Um, they have a smoking car which has nothing to do with tobacco. It, uh, for some reason, the thing just smokes. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> you went for that, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's probably the hydraulic system. And where was I? The train? Oh, the train. Oh, so I'm sitting next to this guy one day going in, and uh, he sees, he knows that I'm in television in some capacity, and uh, which is about all my family knows, too, by the way. <laughs> And he says to me, you know that uh, show, The Flintstones, Fred and Wilma Flintstone? I say, yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it. And he says, uh, you know if they're married in real life, Fred and Wilma? Said, Maybe they are. They could be. So, uh... Hard to separate sometimes the reality yeah, of the world. Yeah, well, you know, going. sure, of course, yeah. Um, so then I started... Uh, I started driving in. Now, this is what I love about New York City. They charge you a toll to get into the city. About a buck and a half now, isn't it? It's, I think it's a buck and a quarter, buck and a half in most places. But where I go in, it's 90 cents. And I don't know why it's 90 cents, but I, you know, to me, that, that seems like a fair price to go in and <laughs> risk your life. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, there's lanes. Now, they have a lane. If you have the exact change, right. they have a lane for those folks. If you don't have the exact change, they have a lane where a guy will make change for you. Now, on behalf of myself and hundreds of thousands of other commuters, ladies and gentlemen, you either have the exact change or you don't have the exact change. Do not get into the exact change lane on a hunch, okay? <laughs> Thank you. possibility you might have. It. Is it hot in here? Yes. <laughs> my, oh, my. We have, yeah. I understand you have brought, uh, brought with you. Usually when you say you, I understand, you know that as a fact, yeah. but you like to pretend yeah. that you don't really know that. Yeah. Uh, but I, I hear, I don't hear right now, but I heard earlier. <laughs> By the way, can the audience can hear us. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm afraid they can. <laughs> <laughs> that you have a, a piece of tape or something? Oh, yeah, or... and I'm sorry to do it to you. you know, no, no, don't. No, 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 no. You must admit this. You must be sick of showing clips on this show. Don't you? When people bring on a clip, you think, oh, another Sometimes, clip. Sometimes, uh, honestly. Well, I... Yeah. 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 So I feel badly bringing one in here to you, and it's, it's okay. It's not a great clip. It's not that you don't want to wake the kids for this, but it's okay. <laughs> It'll be, compared to what I've brought you so far, this will be okay. <laughs> so uh, here it is. This was uh, from our show. We did a night. We saluted the uh, miracle fabric of the 80s. Velcro. Velcro. See? Yeah. So that's what uh, you'll see here in the okay. clip. It's self-explanatory. Have you ever done oh. anything like this? I haven't, no. Okay, maybe <laughs> a drum roll. Now, theoretically, I'll, I'll hit the wall and stay there, right? Yes, theoretically. Okay. <laughs> go high. As high as I can go. Okay, okay, can you... <laughs> I can't, uh... Can't, uh... <laughs> there's, uh, there's, there's very little I can do from this position. <laughs> Your tax dollar at work. Yeah, that's right. Made possibly by a grant from the Chuck Foundation. That's right. <laughs>
Remarkable. Uh, yeah, it Remarkable. Was, <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to take a break, don't we? You have to get ready. Oh, yes, of course we do. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. <laughs> 